<laughs> I, uh, the Women's Club of Kenosha is collecting wine corks, synthetic and natural, to be recycled. And we're also collecting infant to, uh, teenage clothes for Dr. Shaw, the cardiologist at Kenosha, who has a clinic in India, and he will be taking them to his clinic in the end of June, I believe. So thank you. Also, I'd like to invite you to we're celebrating our 130th anniversary on May 1st, and more information will be coming out for that. So cool. Thank you. Okay, uh, um, actually this is the Labor Times, this oh, is the uh, school board election. School board election. Uh, so on the ballot with the uh, judicial election is also the school board election. There are three seats open. WGTD is doing a forum that will be aired on March 20th, Saturday morning. Uh, the Kenosha News is doing an online forum, which will be on uh, Monday, March 22nd. So please uh, tune in. Wendy Gauss, go buy, go buy and sell houses with Wendy Gauss. Yes, so my announcement is, I number one, I'm tooting my own heart. I closed on my 175th house last week, Friday. Um, and I just want to make the announcement to everybody that um, housing inventory is at kind of like an all-time low right now in Kenosha. So if you ever thought about selling your house and you want a free market analysis to see what you could get for it, like honestly, now is the time. <coughs> We need houses to sell. We, we don't have enough housing units for the people looking to purchase because our area is growing. So if you have a house to sell, let us know. We'll do a free market analysis for you. These were samples from Terry Lynn Nut Company. Uh, for 12 years, I was with an organization that sold lots of these where we had to sort them and deliver them and all that kind of stuff. Two years ago, that organization closed. It was Quote International. It closed at the end of last year internationally. And so there's this void for all of this fundraising we did selling nuts. The lowest we ever raised was $700. It was the last year when there were five people left in the club. Prior, it was an average of $1,800 a year. Just And now everything direct ships. So the board had taught, I said I'd get these samples in. What did you think? Did you like the nuts? That's yeah, one of my questions. Yeah. So we would put, literally it'd become an online fundraiser that would just sit there and we'd get a check every month. So good idea. We'll do a yep. formal vote later, but we, the quote board had said, yes, yeah, sure, get the samples. Yeah. So, okay. I was just going to say that um, early voting starts next, a week from next Tuesday. So that's um, March 22nd. In person early voting at City Hall, um, all the way through until the Friday before the election. But also, you can go online to myvote.wi.gov and request your absentee ballot at any time um, now. And we're, those will be going out next Tuesday. For the judge as well, uh, her and I did a forum with Lenai Quinta at WGTD Community Matters. We recorded it a week or two ago, but it airs this Saturday. I don't, do you remember the time? I think that he's going to put it on at noon. Is it noon, right? I think so. And then the opera's after that? Correct. Right, right. So <laughs> noon, 91.1 uh, WGTD, there's a forum with uh, the Judge and I and Lenai Quinta ask a whole bunch of questions. So if you'd like to tune in for that and listen to some more, please do. Thanks. They also did a forum last night with uh, Amy Wood Cunningham and Gabrielle, as well as the two candidates we saw today, and that is on the Kenosha Women's Network. Yeah, AAW. No, AAW did the forum. Kenosha Women's Network is the post is there, so it's well worth watching.